In today's tutorial, we're learning how to make this photo manipulation in Canva in just a few minutes. And it's actually easier than it seems with all the elements that are available in the software. And we're starting from a blank canvas. First, we want to go to the Elements tab. And here we want to look for Coffee Cup. So we type in Coffee. And on Photos, we click See All. You can choose whichever one you like. I kind of like this one from a side angle. So I'm going to click it and add it to the slide. Make it slightly smaller and place it in the middle. Now we're going to look for the other image of the skyline. So we type in city skyline, still in the photo snap, and then we can choose whichever one we like. Ideally, we want a similar angle as the coffee cup. So let's look for one that we have available. And looking at the images, I think this one will be perfect fit. So I'm going to click it and add it to the slide. You can already increase the transparency to sort of blend them in. And then we can see that the towers, if we here match it up with the size. Let's put it a little bit more transparent. I think like this, that we have this tower in, then all the bigger ones that pop out. And then on the right side, we also narrow it down nicely at this building. So we keep in mind that we need the building with the green and the cutoff at the large building on the right. And then we have a good overview. So we can incre increase transparency again. Now we're going to put this to the side for a second. And in the Elements tab, let's look for Frame. Go to the Frames tab, and this will give you different mockups to work with. I'm going to click the circular one, and I'm going to drag it from the top so I can scale it down towards an oval. I want to put it on the coffee cup, and then I want to scale it so it matches the coffee cup. Ideally, it's a little bit larger so we don't have the borders of the coffee visible. So I'm going to place it just here where it looks nice. Now let's duplicate the page. So we have a second file to work with. Grab the image on the first one and drag it over the coffee cup. We can see that it's scaled down a bit. So we're going to double click and then we're going to increase it in size. So we have that same positioning, the one with the green. And then to the right, we want the large buildings to match up. So right around here, I think will look nice. That will be good. And then just click away. Now we have the bottom part of the image visible in the cup. Next, we want to go to the second page. Here, let's remove the cup for now. And on the second image, we're going to remove the background. So select the image, edit image, background remover. And this has removed the background. Now you see there are still parts on the sides that we don't need. Here from this building, everything to the left and the same on the building to the right. So we go to magic eraser, increase the brush size, and then we're going to color everything that we don't need. So around here, that part we don't need from the image and we're going to color it. So this is going to erase that part. We're going to do the same on the right. There we go. The bottom part of the image is not very necessary because we can just crop it out and then click on erase. Give it a few seconds and it will clean the image for you. This already looks quite good. I'm going to remove this part here from the side. And then once you have this result, you can just click on the back button Ctrl-C to make a copy and Ctrl-V to paste it on top. Now we want to look for the same location. So we're going to increase the transparency or drag it down to 50. And now we want to match up the positioning of the image. So I'm looking at the clock here and I want to match it up with the one that is visible on the image. So you don't want to drag it over the image so it's going to fill up the mockup again. We want to slightly drag it downwards and not release it on that coffee cup. And now you play around with the size so that it perfectly matches up. And as long as it's not blurry anymore, that means you find the right spot. So it's a bit less on this side. And I think this here looks quite good. Now I'm going to select the top image and then add the transparency to full again. And then we're going to add the crop mark so that it meets about halfway of the cup. I can select it and add the crop marks a bit closer. And this already looks like quite a good city coming from the cup, but we're going to add many more elements. Here you can still fine tune the adjustments. I think this will look a bit better to align if we look at the buildings, maybe just a bit more larger. And I think this is perfect match. Now we're going to look for some shadow elements. So let's type in shadow and don't forget to go for the graphics tab again. And now we want to look for a shadow that is slightly curved. So you can choose whichever one is available here. Let's see if we can find a slightly curved shadow. 
and I'm going to use this one here, make it smaller, rotate it 180 degrees, and that's going to match nicely with the bottom of the cup. Again, you can't release it in the mock-up, but sort of place it at the bottom, increase it in size just a bit, so that we have the shadow effect of the edge. I'm going to make it a bit more transparent, and that already looks quite good. Now we're going to add some more elements, so a cloud, and we want to look for these realistic clouds. So you can go to all, photos, and here we have the realistic clouds. So we're going to add those on the slide. And now it's a bit difficult to see with the white background. So let's also change the background to something yellow and add a nice yellow contrasting background to the slide. Put it on top, position, send to back. And this already looks quite good. Let's go back to the clouds and add some more. So we're going to add a variation of clouds across the picture. And I kind of like to put them on the borders where you see there's kind of a harsh edge. So you want to cover that up with the clouds. Let's copy this one. Let's flip it and also put it to the back. Drag it below the skyline. So it's the 3D effect that we get. And let's add one here. And now let's add some finishing touches. So we're going to look for an airplane and then look for a nice photo of an airplane. I think this one will look quite good. Let's add it to the picture and then put it here on the left side of the image. If you feel that the image doesn't match up for the lighting, you can go to edit image, adjust, and then select auto adjust. And this will increase the brightness of the image to match with the rest. And let's drag some clouds in front of the image. So you can select this one, see whichever one it is, and then add it in front of the clouds. I think that always looks nice to get some 3D effect. A few more things. Let's look for some birds. Birds. And this one with a white background looks quite good. Edit image, remove background and then scale it down just a bit. And let's have them fly to the right side. So we're going to flip it horizontally and add them to the right of the cup. Also here, we're going to drag them somewhere in between the clouds. So that gives a nice realistic effect. And maybe a final tweak is that we go for a sun photos, or let's see if we can find some graphics. And I think this one will look very realistic in the picture. And of course we want to drag it all the way to the back and then position that sun somewhere in between the buildings. Maybe some extra clouds to top it all off. You can always flip them to create a different shape. There we go. And let's put that on full screen. And this is how you can create this photo manipulation in Canva in just a few minutes. If you want to learn more about Canva, make sure to drop a follow and watch the video on the screen right now.